for some seasonal flavors with Thunder Bay. You know, when the weather gets warmer, some people turn to cold salads and some people turn to the grill. Yeah, we're going to do a little bit of both right mm -hmm. now. Chef Mike Stigler is back from Thunder Bay to give us again both sides of that. So we got the grill going and we got something cold to add to it, right? Yeah, definitely. I couldn't decide. Do we do a nice cold salad? It seems a little bit too easy. This is cooking with Thunder Bay. Cook <laughs> a steak, put it on top of there. We're good to go. Love right. it. That's what we're going to do today. All right. So we're going to put together the Thunder Bay steak salad. Unique, Yum. Uniquely named, isn't it? Yes. But, you know, it describes what it is. So. Yeah, it's but great. What we're going to start off with here is our sirloin steak, and we're going to get this going on the grill because that's the first thing you got to do. So this is a certified Angus beef um, sirloin steak, and you can see all the fat that's marbled through there. Now, some people might call that fat and be like, ew, but what fat that's equals is flavor. Mm -hmm. Well, once you cook that, all that fat is going to kind of melt down a little bit and give you some really delicious flavor. So we're going to go ahead and rub this with just a little bit of vegetable oil just to kind of allow our seasonings to sort of adhere to it a little bit. Okay. And we're going to put Cajun seasoning on here. Now, this Cajun Cajun seasoning is a mixture of uh, paprika. We have a little bit of ground chilies in there, some cayenne. We have uh, garlic powder. We have onion salt, all kind of mixed together, a little bit of thyme. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and put this into our grill pan that I've got heated up over here. And I've already got one steak rolling so we can see what she looks like when she's cooking. Got to have your pan nice and hot so you get those good grill marks that you're looking for. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a flip, and you can see how nice that's looking on the other side. It looks we're just like it came cook. off the grill. Yeah, is that one a, a sirloin too? Because it's kind of puffed up. A yeah, more. each sirloin is kind of looks a little bit different, but yeah, the, the heat will kind of help it to sort of contract a little bit okay. and come together, but that's a sirloin as well. Um, and yeah, and if you don't want to fire up the grill outside, if it's a rainy day or whatever, get yourself one of these nice cast iron um, grill pans. They got the marks right on there, and you can get that grilled flavor inside the house. Which is there is quite a reason nice. you choose sirloin? Because that tends to be a leaner piece. Is that why? Well, it has a lot of flavor, is yeah. really what it does. It stands up to the other things that we're going to put into the salad, okay. and it's got a really nice, bold flavor. Um, so now we're going to put together our salad. So what we've got here is our fresh mixed greens. And I'm going to get my old trick here with putting it all in the bag instead <laughs> yeah. of using the salad bowl. That way you don't have to make an extra dish and you got your little tossing, you know, medium all ready to go here. So for that, we're going to put in a little bit of this uh, sweet mustard vinaigrette. Now, we make this out in, the out in the restaurant. That's got cracked black peppercorn in there. It's got a little bit of roasted bell pepper, a little bit of sweet mustard, uh, some vinegar. So we're going to go ahead and give that couple of uh, ladles full of that mm -hmm. and then Scoops. we're going to go ahead and toss the greens. So you just want to kind of pinch off the top of your bag. If you're doing this at home, you could use like an empty bread bag. Um, leave a little bit of air in there and then give it a good toss. Hold on to the bottom just in case you got a weak seam see, that busts, which you don't want. Look at how evenly that's all coated in there. And it tosses in there. it all that's nice awesome. and evenly so you can see and it's, it's mess It's the greatest trick ever. Isn't it good? So from there, we're going to go ahead and add in a little bit of crumbled blue cheese. Now, this is Maytag blue cheese, which is... Yeah, what um, does that mean? Maytag, as you've heard of Maytag washers and dryers, yeah. obviously. Same family. They also <laughs> make blue cheese. Is it true? No, it's true. true. For real? Oh, really? Yeah. And that blue cheese is actually aged in caves in Iowa. It can't be called Maytag blue cheese unless it's made by the Maytag family okay. that has their own set of caves down in Iowa. This doesn't sound real, but That's it hilarious. is. That's hilarious. It it's sounds it's like true. a joke. I'm yeah, I thought you were up. making a joke, too. <laughs> Um, so there we're going to go ahead. We've got all of our stuff in here. We've got uh, grape tomatoes. We've got the Maytag blue cheese, and we've got our dressing. Do you and like their caves better? Is that why you get the Maytag? <laughs> they have the best caves in the really? cave circuit. Yeah, they're, they're huh. well known for their caves. They have a really specific humidity level and moisture level in their caves that makes this cheese have a really distinct We have a flavor. really specific humidity level in our studio today. Yes. It's, yes. it's very warm here <laughs> it's very today. Distinct. That's why I thought I would fire up a grill pan and make it just <laughs> nice. a little bit worse. Yeah, nice. Good. Thank you. Appreciate day. your help. Well, yeah, I get to leave. Shortly, you guys get to, get to deal with and then we're going to do a heat related <laughs> quiz too about there the weather. Go. So, now okay, another so now little trick steak. here is once you cook your steak, what you want to do is you want to let it rest a little bit before you cook it. If I pulled that directly off the grill, cut into it, you're going to have juice all over. So, mm -hmm. this one I cooked up a little bit earlier, okay. um, and it's a little, I've allowed it to rest for probably about five minutes or so. Okay. Um, and then all those juices kind of contract back in there, and then you're not going to have juices just squee squirting all over your cutting board when you cut into it. That is the best trick that I learned from you because I always yep. would cut in right away to see where it's at. Yep. But you said it's kind of more in the buoyancy of the meat, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Let it rest a little bit. I thought the, the, the bag was the best trick you ever learned. Well, okay, <laughs> second. second. We Third, okay, there's three good tricks. The bag, the resting of the meat, and how to preserve your guacamole. What about yes. the avocado? Yeah, the yeah. avocado. Yeah, the there avocado guacamole Pressing trip. down the saran wrap directly onto the guacamole. Yep, I do avocado. it too all the time now. Maybe so we should have a greatest tips episode. Yes, we should. Uh, I like that. Best chef So then we've got our tips. steak all nice and cooked. We're going to go ahead and shingle that right across the top of our salad. Shingle and then we're going to put a little bit of red onion on there as well. 
And there you have the Thunder Bay Grill beautiful. steak salad. I'm going to just That's taste beautiful. the meat. Isn't that delicious Let's looking? Can I ask you a random question? Oh, boy. I, I see a lot of um, chefs cooking with flank steak a lot more. Mm. Is, yeah. there a, is it just popular right now, or is there a reason for using flank versus a sirloin? Well, flank steak is one of those steaks that's a little bit, um, tends to be a little bit less expensive. Yeah. But like a sirloin, it's got a lot of flavor to it because it's, it's cut from a part of the cow that has a lot of marbling to it. It's okay. not like a tenderloin is super lean, no fat, but, you know, not the most flavor. You get a cut like a sirloin or like a flank steak, you got a lot of flavor in okay. there. So that's mm. another good thing. Yep. I love it. It's, it's so delicious. Smart, the flavor is awesome. Yeah, I learned definitely. so much from Oh, you're he's here. putting bacon yes. on now. How about oh. a little bit of bacon around there, there too? You we go. can't forget the bacon. Steak, Beautiful. bacon, blue cheese, bold flavors. Everything's better with bacon. Love it. What is it? I travel <laughs> right. with bacon. I carry a baggie of bacon around with me wherever I go. It's awesome. In his man bag. Yes. All right, visit Thunder Bay. They're right off 94 and 164. Exit 294 in Pewaukee. Ask for Mike when you go. He likes to make table appearances. Love it. Sign your napkin. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Sign your napkin. Uh, thanks, Mike. Thank you, Mike. It's Thank you. delicious. All right, up next, a heat quiz. Which will cool you down faster, air conditioning or a cool shower or coming to TMJ4 Studios? <laughs> That's definitely not going to work. The answer after the break and what you need to do to keep your family safe when the temperature goes up. We'll be right back.